This is going to be an example on writing recursive and explicit equations for both arithmetic and geometric sequences. So let's uh, start then with um, recursive. For both. So in recursive equations, the first thing that we say is what is the first um, term? Where does it start? So this one starts at three. So the first term is three. And if I think then about how this one is changing, notice um, it's arithmetic, it's changing by adding two each time. So plus two, plus two, plus two. So what we'd write recursively for that is a term is the term that came before it plus two. So notice in the notation, for example, if we were finding the fourth term, n would be four, t sub four would equal t sub four minus one, t sub three, the term that came before it plus two. Uh, geometric, similarly, if we wanna write a recursive one for it, the first term is two. And then notice that this one's changing by multiplication. This is uh, times three each time. So, the way that we'd write this is a term is three multiplied by the term that came before it. All right, so those are recursive examples. And uh, if we wanna do a couple of explicit examples, first off, I'll spell explicit. Um, this is how we do it. Um, the way that they're different is a recursive, notice I have to give you a starting point, and I say a term is the term that came before it. In recursive, I refer back to other terms in the sequence. I don't do that in explicit. Explicit are the ones that help me jump straight to a uh, strength, jump straight to a term. So for this arithmetic one, in order to get a term, any term, well, what do I do? I start at three, and then I add two a bunch of times. So let me think about this just for a sec. If uh, if I'm at three and I add two once, I'm at the second term. In order to get to the fourth term, notice that I only add three, uh, add, sorry, add two three times. So what I'm doing is I'm adding two, one less than the actual term that I end up on. Not the value of the term, but the term's place in the sequence. So that means that it is, Let me do a little example that uh, that illustrates how this equation would work. Let's say I want to find the the tenth term in this sequence. So if I go to find t10, it's going to be now. Notice what I'm saying: n is 10. n is 10. So I'm gonna wherever there's an n, I'm gonna substitute in a in a 10. So that would be three where I'm starting plus two. 10 minus one times, which is which is nine. So that would make uh, this value, let me see here, uh, three plus two times nine, 18, 18 plus three, uh, that is uh, blah, 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 21. So the 10th term would be 21. Similarly, uh, if I do the, the geometric explicit for it, I'm starting at two and I'm multiplying by three each time. So um, it's a little bit different growth because I'm multiplying by three. So in order to get a term, I start with two and there's no addition here, it's all multiplication. And so that's my starting point, my two. And I'm multiplying by three a bunch of times. So it's gonna be three to some power. And just like the previous example where the number of times you add is one less than the term you're at. Same thing with multiplication. In order to get, to get out to the fourth term, I only multiply three times. So it's I multiply by, by that ratio one less time than I am um, for the, than, I, than the term number that I'm trying to get to. So if I'm trying to get to term n, I'm gonna multiply by three n minus one times. And notice three is taken to that power because it's times three times three times three that many times.